హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈపీజీ పాఠశాల ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ డిసి సక్సేన ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ యాట్ సంత్ లొంగోవాల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ లొంగోవాల్ ఐఎమ్ హియర్ టు ప్రజెంట్ ద పేపర్ టెక్నాలజీ ఆఫ్ మీట్ పోల్ట్రీ ఫిష్ అండ్ సీ ఫుడ్ ప్రొడక్ట్స్ ద ప్రజెంట్ మాడ్యూల్ విల్ బీ అబౌట్ ద స్కేర్డింగ్ పెకింగ్ అండ్ ఎవిసరేషన్ as the primary processing of poultry and this module will be explained to you by my co-author Ms. Saeed Insha Rafi who is well versed with this topic. Hello students, welcome to EPG Pad Shala. I am Saeed Insha Rafi from Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today I am going to talk about module 18 that's primary processing of poultry which includes scalding picking and evisceration of paper number 8 technology of meat poultry fish and seafood products in this module we will be learning about the primary processing of poultry The domestication of poultry took place several thousand years ago. This may have originally been as a result of people hatching and rearing young birds from eggs collected from the wild, but later involved keeping the birds permanently in captivity. Poultry are kept in most areas of the world and provide an acceptable form of animal protein to most people throughout the world. During the last decade, many developing countries have adopted intensive poultry production in order to meet the demand for this form of animal protein. poultry meat and eggs provide nutritionally beneficial food containing protein of high quality this is accompanied by low levels of fat which have a favorable mix of fatty acids chicken meat contains about 2 to 3 times as much polyunsaturated fat as most types of fried meat when measured by weight poultry is a category of domesticated birds kept by humans for the purpose of collecting of their eggs or killing for their meat or feathers poultry is the second most widely eaten meat in the world and accounts for 30% of global meat consumption poultry comes from the french word poil itself derived from the latin word pulls which means small animal the worldwide average per capita consumption of poultry meat has nearly quadrupled since the 1960s 11 kg in 2003 compared with 3 kg in 1963 poultry meat and eggs are highly nutritious The meat is rich in proteins and is a good source of phosphorus and other minerals and of B complex vitamins. Poultry meat contains less fat than most cuts of beef and pork. Poultry liver is especially rich in vitamin A. It has a higher proportion of unsaturated fatty acids than saturated fatty acids. For the processing of poultry, two steps are performed. That is, first is primary and secondary. For the primary processing of poultry, it mainly involves scalding, wherein the birds are exposed to either steam or hot water as part of of the scalding procedure scalding process loosens the feathers 
and facilitates plucking. After scalding, picking of poultry is done, followed by evisceration. Scalding is the process of submerging the birds or carcass in hot water to loosen the feather so that they can be easily separated further. The birds can either be dipped in hot water or sprayed with steam. The scalding process may either be hard or soft depending on the temperature and time duration variations. Then moving to picking process. Picking is the process of removal of feathers from the poultry. It is the second step in processing of poultry after killing. In some cases, the process is done after scalding of poultry in hot water, hence either scald picking or dry picking method is applied. Now moving to evisceration. It's the process of removal of edible and inedible viscera from the carcass. In this process, the internal organs like heart, livers, gizzard are removed and cleaned for further processing. Generally, the process involves hanging the carcass of poultry, then cutting the abdomen of bird and scoop the viscera and separates the giblets and viscera. Then removes the gizzard. After that, then trim and clean the gizzard for further processing. The most common product producer in poultry slaughterhouses is the whole bird. However, poultry meat can be further processed into various products based on the type of poultry meat desired. For example, from simple cuts to ready-to-eat meals. The birds are usually transported by truck to the poultry slaughterhouse. Slaughtering can be performed manually or by using an automatic circular knife system. The birds should bleed for at least two minutes to ensure a total bleed out. Primary processing of poultry involves scalding, wherein the birds are exposed to either steam or hot water as part of the scalding procedure. Scalding loosens the feathers and facilitates plucking. After scalding, picking of poultry is done followed by evisceration. Scalding is the process of submerging the birds or carcass in hot water to loosen the feather so that they can be easily separated further. The birds can either be dipped in hot water or sprayed with steam. The scalding process may either be hard or soft depending on the temperature and time duration variations. Moving to scalding process wherein after bleeding, the birds go through scalding tanks. Scalding tanks contain hot water that softens the skin so that the feathers can easily be removed. However, the temperature of the water is carefully controlled. Turkeys and spent hens egg-laying birds that have finished their 
laying cycles are generally run at high temperatures of 59 degree to 60 degree Celsius. 138 degree to 140 degree Fahrenheit. Generally, there are two processes of scalding that is, soft and hard scalding. In soft scalding, the temperature is kept low, while in hard scalding, temperature is kept high. Soft scald is used about 50 degree Celsius or 122 degree Fahrenheit. If retention of the yellow skin color is desired, but if a white bird is desired, a higher scald temperature is used, resulting in the removal of the yellow pellicle. A hard scald of 58 degrees Celsius for 2.5 minutes will remove the epidermis of poultry and in and this is commonly used for carcasses that will be frozen so that their appearance is white and attractive. Scalding method is done as per the bird and there are different procedures for scalding of different birds like waterfowl, mature and younger birds are all having different procedures. Scalding involves submerging the carcass in hot water to relax the muscles holding the feather. For birds that are difficult to scald waterfowl, a wetting agent or detergent may be added to the water. Scalding temperatures should be determined by the type of poultry and the difficulty of picking. For waterfowl and mature birds, a higher temperature and longer submersion time should be used. For younger birds, a lower temperature and shorter time is recommended. Semiscald or slack scald is the name given to scalding for 30 to 60 seconds in 125 to 130 degree Fahrenheit water. By using this time and temperature, the epidermal layer is left intact. Birds that are being slaughtered for an exit should be scald in this way to improve the appearance of the carcass. Water that is too hot will cause the outer layer of skin to lose and be lost. Loss of the skin also results in loss of some yellow pigment on the skin. Subscar is the use of water at 138 to 140 degree Fahrenheit for 30 to 75 scans. The epidermal layer is broken down by this time temperature combination, but the feathers are usually much easier to remove. For home processing, this method of scalding is recommended. Hard scald or full scald requires a water temperature of 140 to 150 degree Fahrenheit. This method is faster and eliminates pin feathers. But the birds tend to dry out and have a less desirable appearance. Waterfowl may be scalded at this temperature. Scalding is generally done either manually or automatically. Automated scalding includes hard scalding, medium scalding and soft scalding wherein the process for scalding is seen and the only difference from scalding is the temperature and cycle time. Automatic 
scalding is the process done by using machines and it includes hard scalding, medium scalding and soft scalding. As the name indicates, it is generally applied to those feather containing carcasses that are very difficult to be removed, like in case of waterfall. Thus, very high temperature ranging from 140 to 160 degree Fahrenheit for 10 to 90 seconds are applied to loosen the skin which is removed during the defeathering process. Automated hard scalding is performed by immersing the birds in a tank while they are hanging from an overhead conveyor. Automatic equipment speeds throughput and improves process consistency. Minimizing bacteria loads in the scalding water is a priority and maintaining consistent water temperatures is an important objective. Medium or sub scalding is most appropriate for mature chickens whose feathers are more difficult to remove than those of typical boilers or roasters. The only difference from hard scarling is the temperature and cycle time. Values for medium scarling range from 129 to 136 degree Fahrenheit for 60 to 120 seconds. Foster processing can be achieved by scalding at 140 to 145 degree Fahrenheit for 15 to 30 seconds. Soft semi scalding is used for most boilers and roasters chickens and for young turkeys the production process is similar to that used for hard or medium scarling although production equipment is designed for high production processing of chickens. Soft scalding immerses the birds in 124 to 130 degree Fahrenheit for 45 scans. Manual scalding of slaughtered birds is the immersion of bird in a tank of hot water to loosen the feathers so that they can be easily removed. The dead bird is immersed in 140 to 150 degree Fahrenheit water for about one minute. In most cases, an open tank is used that can accommodate one to ten birds and the water is kept hot by a burner located in the bottom of the tank. However, it has become fairly uncommon because other methods are cheaper and safer for larger operations. The main problem are contamination, high labor costs and difficulty of achieving 
uniform scalding. The manual handling of the birds is expensive and operators must be very diligent to maintain consistent scalding. The major advantage of manual scalding processes is low capital cost. Large plants may use a bird scrubber, large rotating brushes on either side of the bird and also spray the birds with chlorinated water before putting them in the scalder. However, small processors use a single stage static tank. Large plants use long multiple tanks for multi-stage scalding. The tanks vary in temperature and have a counter current flow of water which produces a dirty to clean gradient. The scald water flows in the opposite direction of the birds so that they are continually moving to cleaner water. Then moving to picking process. Picking is the process of removal of feathers from the poultry. It is the scant step in processing of poultry after killing. In some cases, the process is done after scalding of poultry in hot water. Hence, either scald picking or dry picking method is applied. Advantages of dry picking are the birds keep much better because the delicate cuticle that covers the skin and prevent the invasion of putrefactive bacteria is not injured by dry picking as it is by scalding. Thus, the birds are having better appearance and it is also the most sanitary method. Disadvantage of dry picking It is slightly more expensive method than scald picking. The expensive cost is the reason that prevents its universal use, hence is not practiced. Thus, scalding is done followed by picking, which may be done either manually or automatically. Birds to be plucked are subjected to a machine and should be plucked immediately after scalding. The birds are placed on rotating drums outfitted with rubber-like fingers that remove feathers through abrasion. Any remaining pin feathers can be waxed to make removal easier. In some poultry processing operations, the fine pin feathers are seen that is burned over flame. If mechanical pickers are used, they should be adjusted to the size of birds being picked. Mechanical pickers make the job much faster. Birds that are to be exploited should be 
lacquered by hand. Being sure that all pin feathers are removed and that there is no damage to the skin. This procedure requires a good deal of time if done correctly. Rubbing the feathers from the skin is frequently more effective than picking motion. Picking process. Quality of picking is related to scalding process. If scalding water to be used is too cool, then the feathers won't lose. But if it is too hot, then skin will tear in picker. Turkeys and older laying hens are difficult to defeather while waterfowl feathers are much more difficult to remove. In turkeys and larger birds, a special machine may be necessary to remove these feathers. However, pin feathers, immature feathers are very difficult to remove mechanically. Thus, pinning process is done which involves removal of pin feathers by hand, while seeing is another process that involves passing the bird through flame to burn small hair like feathers. Picking machinery. The poultry is subjected to the feather picking machines which are equipped with rubber fingers specially designed to beat off the feathers. The poultry are moved through a sequence of machines, each optimized for removing different sets of feathers. And at the last step, the carcasses are usually seen by passing throw a flame that burns off the remaining feathers. There is an extra step in the process called as wax dipping, which is used for waterfowl as their feathers are more difficult to remove. In this step, carcasses are dipped in a melted dark color wax. The wax is allowed hardened and then is peeled away, pulling out the feathers at the same time. The wax is reheated and the feathers are filtered out so that the wax can be reused. Types of pickers Drum picker a drum picker consists of a cylinder with rubber fingers around the exterior. The operator holds the bird above the cylinder, rotating it as the cylinder spins the picks of feathers. Drum pickers come in tabletop or freestanding models. It defeathers one bird at a time. Tub or batch picker. A tub or batch picker is a rotating tub with rubber fingers mounted on the inside walls. Large plants use continuous inline pickers that look like a tunnel with rubber fingers. In large processing plants, feather removal is done by mechanical pickers or placards equipped with rubber fingers that rub the feathers of the carcass. It can handle two birds at a time. In a continuous operation, this is done while the carcass is hanging upside down and moving forward that is 
carried by a shackle line in between two or three sets of drums or discs covered with rubber fingers. The fingers are made out of rubber and contain different levels of a lubricating agent that controls their hardness, elasticity, etc. Elasticity and length of the fingers varies depending on the task required, machine speed, etc. All of the chemicals or materials used in making the fingers have to be approved for use in contact with food. Any modification should be approved by the local regulatory agency. Now moving to evisceration. It is the process for removal of edible and inedible viscera from the carcass. In this process, the internal or organs like heart, livers, gizzards are removed and cleaned for further processing. Generally, the process involves hang hanging the carcass of poultry, then cutting the abdomen of bird and scooped the viscera and then separates the giblets and viscera, removes the gizzard, then trim and clean gizzard. Evisceration process in poultry involves three basic objectives. The body cavity of the poultry is opened by inducing a cut from the posterior tip of the breastbone to the cloaca ends. Number two, the viscera, primarily the gastrointestinal tract and associated organs, reproductive tract, heart and lungs is drawn out and number three the edible viscera are giblets heart liver and gizzard are separated from the extracted viscera and washed with water the neck is usually part of the giblets but is collected later evisceration process the evisceration process is used to remove internal organs of poultry involving several steps before completion. In the process, the body cavity is opened and the viscera are withdrawn. The process is done either manually or automatically. The manual process is performed using a knife and a pair of scissors or semi-automatically or fully automatically using a circular cutting blade and a scoop like arm to withdraw the viscera. The latter is done on high speed lines that is 2000 to 8000 birds per hour. In all cases, special care should be taken not to purse the viscera and contaminate the carcass. To eviscerate manually, body cavity can be opened by making a small cut near the vent, extending the cut around the vent. Care should be taken not to cut the intestine or contaminate the carcass with fecal material and draw out the organs. After all, the contents of the cavity are removed. The bird should be thoroughly washed inside and out. In a conventional manual operation, the abdominal skin is cut off along the midline, anterior part of the breastbone toward the clock. 
while the skin around the clock is usually cut in a circular pattern to minimize the chance of gut content spelling on the carcass. The evisceration is performed by sporting the bird with one hand and inserting the fingers of the other hand through the incision in the abdomen. The three middle fingers extended slide past the viscera until the heart is reached. They are then partly closed in a loose grip followed by a gentle twisting action and the viscera are slipped out of the body and released. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. We have learned about the introduction and primary processing of poultry that is scarling, picking and evisceration. After slaughtering, the birds are subjected to scalding process wherein the birds are exposed to either steam or hot water. To loosen the feathers and facilitate plucking. Picking is a process of removal of feathers from the poultry and for this skull picking or dry picking method is applied. However, pin feathers, immature feathers are very difficult to remove mechanically. Thus, pinning process is done which involves removal of pin feathers by hand while seeing is another process that involves passing the bird through flame to burn small hair-like feathers. For the picking process, the poultry is subject to the feather picking machine, which are equipped with rubber fingers, specially designed to beat off the feathers. Then moving to evisceration, which is the process for removal of edible and inedible viscera from the carcass. In this process, the internal organs like heart, liver, gizzard are removed and cleaned for further processing. Generally, the process involves hanging the carcass of poultry, then cutting the abdomen of bird and scooping the viscera and then separating the giblet and viscera. Remove the gizzard and then trim and clean the gizzard. Thank you. Now, you have the knowledge of primary processing of poultry, namely scalding, picking and evisceration, which has been explained by my co-author in the present module. Now, the next module will be about the secondary processing of poultry namely aging and deboning. Thank you.